started off with the Mojave because we wanted something to be competitive in the 7300 class, which is a stock class. It has a little bit bigger axle in the front. It has, came with stock air bumps, um, stock internal bypass Fox shocks. We took those off. We're running them on some of our other Gladiators. Um, just all across the board, it's a little bit beefier than the regular uh, Gladiator. It's a stock 3.6 with uh, eight speed and it has the factory axles underneath. We have a family owned business, Offered Evolution, and we actually built it in-house. We did the full cage, put all the aftermarket stuff on it. We beefed up the axles just a little bit, but just the front, and we put our Evo Trust on it. And it's been great, no bent axles, no nothing. Some of the ben benefits of having a solid axle four wheel drive vehicle, you are able to get out of tight areas, um, I get stuck in the silt sometimes. You're able to get on top of it, just put it into four low, and it crawls you right up. The limitations for the stock class is you can only change springs and shocks. So we swapped it out with our uh, the Evo kit, and it has king shocks on it. Um, it has the rock jock anti-rock on it, and we got a new aluminum and rear bumper Evo. So on the safety side, we had to put in the roll cage. We got the Mastercraft 3Gs in it. They're a little bit bigger, so they're more comfortable. You sit lower, so it's really nice. Have the five-point harness, still Mastercraft. For the rear, we put a new 50-gallon fuel cell. We actually took it out of our other race car. And um, we have two spares in the back, just in case, but NATOs hold up pretty good. So we run a 35-inch NATO trail grappler, and it does great on the train that we race on, and it. Has, we have not gotten one single flat yet. It's a 17 inch beadlock. Um, it's a Robbie Gordon wheel. KMC does awesome with the wheels. It looks great. Um, it runs awesome. You don't get any dirt stuck in the wheel because it has all the exit routes. And it's pretty light for what it is. Um, so we have not ran a winch on this one yet. We'll end up putting one in, but we have not done that yet. When we put one in, we're gonna do a worn winch. Uh, we have the Best Top Sunrider on it. It's pretty nice. You could just throw it back if you want, need to get out of the car. Um, easy exit route if you roll over. The coolest thing about the Gladiator is I'd have to say the pickup truck bed. You can throw your fuel cell back there. You can throw your tires back there, any extra tools you need. Um, it makes it a lot easier to be able to race. And then just for daily use, you have a pickup truck where you could throw stuff in the back. Most of the races, it's a desert race. It's all best in the desert series. Uh, typical off-road race conditions in Best of the Desert, you're going up, uh, you're going over whoops that are super huge, so you just kind of roll through it. Um, there's really steep mountain climbs that you got to sometimes throw it into four low, and um, just all kind of different stuff. Super sandy, uh, sometimes silt, that, that goes all over the car. You can't even see. It gets all into your intake, clogs everything up. Uh, so we got second in, four, in Parker 425, and then our next race is going to be Silver State 300. So we were racing Parker 425, and I pull all the way off the road. Um, I get on top of the dirt mound. It's a two-lane, it, practically you could fit two cars on the dirt road. And uh, this guy just, he pushed a pass. I move off the road. He must have followed my dirt. He comes right in the back, rear end, hits me. I freak out. I'm like trying to hold it straight. He spins all the way out and he goes on to the other side. Like he had to go on to a different road for how hard he hit us. He was probably going around 60. So I ended up just uh, bending the sway bar a little bit and then it took the rear tail light out. We've just put a new one in and it bent the body pretty bad. <laughs> so the driver on record is me and my brother. Uh, so Melvin Wade and Harley Wade. And uh, my dad mostly rides passenger seat. Uh, he made it that way on purpose. He wants me and my brother to get more seat time. We've always been in it. My dad has been running um, King of the Hammers and everything since I was six. Um, I have not, this is my first time getting into the driver's seat of a race car. So it's awesome to be able to run with a factory Jeep. Being a girl in the off-road racing is totally awesome. You can go against the guys all day, every day, and you beat them. You just keep pushing yourself to the max and you're eventually going to get there. So for a while there, I rode co-driver with my dad, Mel Wade. Um, we ran in a uh, Jeep Wrangler and we were actually won a uh, Best in the Desert Championship in the 4400 class. Um, 
So I raised King of the Hammers in a stock T-Rex. We put some small kings on there and I was able to do the first lap. I think I was 14 at the time. That was definitely an experience. I timed out after the first lap. Um, I also did Baja 1000. I actually started off the line last year. Super insane. That was my first time starting off a line. That was crazy. You're driving through all these areas and there's so many people on both sides almost touching the car. Super crazy. So if you want more information on what my family does and what we do, my Instagram's Harley underscore Wade and then my dad does Evo Shop Picks. He posts so much good things. He has new stuff every other day. Super cool. And if you want to check out the Evo parts and all that stuff, go to Evo Manufacturing website.